Welcome to the Diabetes Care Complex Kitchens at Children's National Health System. I'm Vanessa Weisbrod and I'm here with Laura Hashiguchi and we work with the Celiac Disease Program. Today we're going to talk about getting started on a gluten-free diet. So Laura, what does it mean to be gluten-free? Well, going gluten-free means avoiding all products with gluten in them. <laughs> um, gluten is found in wheat, barley, and rye, and any product that contains a derivative of one of those, um, one of those foods. And for individuals with celiac disease, going gluten-free is you know, a lifelong commitment. You can't even cheat with a little bit of gluten. So not even a crumb? Not even a crumb. It really is the only way to treat celiac disease. So if I go to the grocery store or with a newly diagnosed family, mm -hmm. what types of products should they be looking at? Yeah. So again, anything that contains wheat, barley, or rye. So a lot of the products that are going to contain those are going to be more of those carbohydrate-heavy foods. Um, so a lot of the you know cereals, crackers, pasta, those sorts of things are you know pretty standardly going to contain gluten. But also some that might surprise you a little bit. Um, there's some marinades, you know, malt vinegar. Malt contains gluten. Mm -hmm. um, even soy sauce and even some soups could have a wheat flour as their base. So there are a lot of things people need to watch out for. Definitely, there's a lot of things you need to look out for. So if I go into the grocery store and I pick up a box of uh, graham cookies, uh, what do I need to look for to find out if it contains gluten? Yeah, that's a great question because of course the label isn't going to say this contains gluten. So you need to be looking out for those wheat, barley, and rye. So for example, this first ingredient in this one is organic whole wheat flour. So we know that you know whole wheat flour is going to contain gluten, so we know it's something that we're going to need to stay away from. So you always need to check food labels very closely. You always need to check food labels. And for a full list of ingredients that you need to stay away from on a gluten-free diet, you can check out the Children's National Celiac website where there's a full list. So are there any foods that gluten could hide in that wouldn't be like on a grocery store shelf? Yeah, gluten can really hide in some even non-food products. For example, really? some medications or multivitamins might be made with wheat or gluten as a filler in them. Um, also some cosmetic products like lip glosses or lip balm might contain gluten and you're getting it by putting it on your lips. Even in some toys that your children might be playing with like Play-Doh. Wow, so making Play-Doh at home with rice flour might be a better idea. Than might be a better option, <laughs> yeah. Now that we've talked about what we can't eat, let's talk about something a little bit more fun, what we can eat. So what products are naturally gluten-free? Yeah, there's actually a lot of options for those on a gluten-free diet. There's a lot of foods out there that are naturally gluten-free, and that's going to be fruits and vegetables, any meat that's not breaded or processed, eggs, most dairy like milk, yogurt, cheese, all gluten-free, nuts, there's a lot of really good options out there. So now if we want to go to the inner aisles of the grocery store, what can we eat? We have a lot of different types of flours like rice flour, almond meal, coconut flour, um, flaxseed meal, teff flour, just the list really goes on of all these different flours that you can bake with and make all of your favorite products that you might have made with wheat and just you know make them with a the gluten-free. So now if you want to make gluten-free products, can we use all of these things in them? Yeah, you can use them or you know <laughs> manufacturers have used them for you and so a lot of your favorite foods you can actually find a gluten-free option. You know, if your cereals, pastas, um, granola bars, cookies, all those foods that you like to eat already, likely there's a gluten-free option out there for you. So let's pick one of these products, like the gluten-free version of those bunny cookies we talked mm -hmm. about before. How do we know these are gluten-free? So we can see that they're labeled gluten-free on, the, um, on the packaging. And you can trust that um, if there's a labeled gluten-free that um, it really is gluten-free because the FDA has actually set a standard of 20 parts per million or less in order for a manufacturer to label their product gluten-free. So it seems like it's a really good time to be gluten-free and lots of options and probably more gluten-free options than gluten-containing. Definitely. That we know which foods are unsafe and safe, let's talk about things that could be questionable. Yeah, so there's definitely some items that aren't quite so cut and dried, and so we just want to go over those really quickly. So, you know, one we mentioned earlier is that malt vinegar contains gluten, whereas most vinegars, like basalmic vinegar, are actually naturally gluten free. Same with we mentioned, you know, soy sauce and, you know, teriyaki sauce earlier. Some versions you're gonna find are gluten free, some aren't. So when it comes to soy sauce, is the naturally gluten free one made with just soybeans and the gluten containing one a mixture of soybeans and wheat? Exactly, so you're gonna to need to be really careful to check that label to see whether you're getting one that contains wheat or not. So with the teriyaki sauce, would the problem be that the gluten containing one uses a soy sauce that isn't gluten free? 
Yeah, quite possibly. But you actually need to be careful about a lot of marinades. A lot of them can use um, flour or wheat flour as a thickener. So now what's the problem with soups? Yep, pretty much that <laughs> same thing with uh, going back actually to the stocks. Some of the stocks are made with a wheat or a gluten containing product. So here we have, you know, this one soup that contains wheat and um, so then also contains gluten, whereas this one here is gluten free. And this one, let's see, what is this one thickened with? Yeah, it's thickened with a rice flour, so that makes it naturally gluten free. So the manufacturer used one of those alternative grains we talked about. Exactly, yeah. Now with oats, why, if oats are naturally gluten free, are these not gluten free? Yeah, so oats are naturally gluten free, but just in the way that they're processed, they're almost always contaminated with gluten. So you do need to get gluten free certified oats. Um, but we have two different types. There's, um, you can have instant oats, like you might like to eat in the morning. And those are, again, just gonna be um, naturally gluten free. That you are looking for the certified gluten free. Or we have cooking oats, so if you're looking to cook with them. Um, so there's definitely a lot of good alternatives out there. So the rule of the day is really to check food labels very closely to make sure you're picking a gluten-free version of whatever food you're buying. Yeah, exactly. You definitely have to be really careful to read everything through. Well, thank you so much, Laura, for all of this very valuable information. And if you want to learn more, you can check out our website at childrensnational.org celiac. Thank you.